finally ready. All right. The ride along is going to be a little bit more exciting this time of year. Yes, this is true. It is November 5th at 6 p.m. And it is right. You are right, my friend Eric. This is actually the first night right along. Not just of the season, but of the series. Which may or may not help my anxiety. I haven't I haven't figured that out yet. Well, once you start getting used to it. Well, I mean, I do okay. It's the parts of the town we filled where um it's not as bright. So that has a lot to do with it, like the country roads, the back roads. Like this one we're on right now. Something like that, yeah. And of course, everybody has their piles of leaves by the road. So, it definitely makes life pretty interesting. And I hope everybody is enjoying their day afternoon and evening, wherever they are on planet Earth, out where lovely third rock from the sun in the Milky Way galaxy. Now, for those folks that want an idea of what I am doing, I'm not doing much. At least I'm not planning on doing much uh, this evening. I'm just going to go to Walmart to drop something off. Not Walmart, Kohl's to drop something off that I no longer need. I do that a lot with Amazon. I find my old tech stuff and I end up returning what I buy, so that's that part of it. But at the same time, I don't put it back in my um, bank account, I put it back in the Amazon for Christmas gifts. So, a very nice total there. I'll see you at your red light. <laughs> yep. Oh. oh, guess not. Okay. My bad for actually going under the speed limit. How is your day going, friend Eric? Not bad. Been a busy one. Uh, yes. Been a busy one. Well, the good part is you weren't anywhere near Walmart when the Bills game is around on or whatever, so that was nice. Yep. It hasn't even started yet. Yep. I'm not even planning on watching it. I have no interest. That and I'll hear it from downstairs in my brother's room later, so not like I can avoid it. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, we're talking about doing coffee stops, uh, the two of us. Yes. Uh, off camera. <laughs> I'm looking at the clock, I'm like, it's six o'clock at night. I have coffee. Bad idea, so We'll uh, schedule that for earlier in the day. Yeah. Because I still want to do the um, peppermint mocha. I believe that's going to be a really great uh, high try. So, in some future video, look out for that. But also, I will be trying the. Or, not trying. Figuring out which one's good. Would it be okay. Starbucks, Tim Hortons? Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I forgot the one. What was it? McDonald's. Yes. So, that is the plan. Everybody will probably want to stick around for that because I am a huge peppermint mocha fan. I love this time of year. Peppermint mocha is up to and almost into Jan uh, through January. Then we're getting into Shamrock Shake season at about that time too, so that's 
Uh, that's the way life goes for me. Except there's nothing between Shamrock Shake and Pumpkin Pie season again. It's like a very, very long, dull low. Yeah. And drinks. Oh, speaking of drinks, the um, pecan pie cake cups, are they back at the NT Walmart? Ah, good question. Okay. We can always stop there. Not that you probably want to stop at your work, but. Oh, that guy threw a cigarette out the car window. Oh, fine. Why do people do shit like that? I don't know. <clears throat> At least if you're gonna smoke, can you wait until you get to your destination? Oh, the inside of my truck is, the window that is, is pretty filthy. Here's a real life lap. Yeah, it's uh, 45 degrees. It was very nice uh, early in the night and the sun went down. Now it's Stupidly cold. Pick one to go with. I guess it would just be that. I don't know. Well, regardless, we're done at close, and I got a great correction scale for somebody, and I could not be happier. One down, a lot to go. So. Hmm. thought about buying that 
safe thing with the heat and the vibration thing for the truck. I think I tried one of those from Walmart and it never, it didn't work. It failed to return it, but it's kind of, mm. I don't know. Look better in the photos, huh? Yep. It's kind of like that in food art. But the commercials. Yeah. You walk by a subway and they got all their stuff on pictures and uh, yeah. stuff like that. And it's like, oh yeah, it doesn't look like that. Yep. You barely gave me half of what's in the picture. Yep. Big red light, guy made a left. Went through a direct red light there. And those two are speeding. The truck and the Camaro, I think it is. Fun times. I think we're getting fog in the NFP right now. Today we just worked Christmas candy and Christmas freight. All this stuff up now? Yep. Great. Yeah, it's one time I was in there. I don't know if I was in there with you or with mom. Like, what's going on? It's like, oh, it's.
reading about it because it's like, am I going anywhere this week? Probably not. It's definitely gone down a little bit too. Yeah. I mean that plays into it, of course. Actually, at one point it was at 376, I think. or Christmas lights? Oh, they're Buffalo Bills lights. Yeah. Why not even ask? That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. I think there are a couple of sites online that um, lets you create your own string of lights. Let you choose them, too, color-wise. So that's cool. But if I remember correctly, it was like one of those big, big strands and it ended up being 50 bucks. Wow. Uh, they were for like outdoors, but still. If I can go to Walmart or Big Lots, well, it's a weird place I haven't been to in a while. I feel like going to Big Lots. Yeah, when was the last time I was at a Big Lots? See, that's what I was trying to figure out. I couldn't. I got a text about Big Lots, actually. So I almost went there. Yeah. Because my daughter's mother found, she was at Big Lots, and they had a wiener dog Christmas light thing. Oh, cute. And she's like, hey, if you need a Christmas idea for your parents, they would love this. And I was like, you're right. And then I went to pick my daughter up that day, and yeah. it was sitting on their table. She's like, I guess we just end up getting from that. And I'm like, okay. That works. So that kind of saved me a trip. But no, I, Big Lots, that's, you know... I also don't really go down Young Street too often either. Yeah, well, I was thinking we could also go to the one in the falls too. Yeah. Unless you can, don't mind you. Oh, well, we could. Okay. I don't venture out that way as much as I should. Same, same. And I thought of a funny story I heard someone tell me. They were pumping gas. And they like to do what I do and get the even amount. And she doesn't, or I think it was a she, she said she doesn't care if it's a pile, a backup, or making a mess all over the driveway. She has to get that even amount. Hmm. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I have, I have, I, I have done that myself too. It's like, it's hysterical, but true. And then I'm thinking, why, in all of the things in life, do gas totals have to equal in dollar amounts equal, be equal? It's the one thing in life that I do that has to be like even. It's very, it, it's funny because it, it, I'm laughing at myself right now too because not only have I done that like I stated, but I, um, I've had gas flow out of my car until I hit an even dollar amount and it's like, 
Yeah, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. It, it's funny, but it's weird at the same time. Have you done that? I can't say that I have, no. As soon as it clangs at its full, I yeah. stop right then and there. 369 miles. For 369 gallons, that's the... Uh, that's a lot of gas. It sure is. I don't think we'll have that much... Um... Environmental problems with getting enough oil. We'd have a overstock, which actually would bring down prices. But what do I know? So we're heading back on to the NFB to go to the big lots in Michael Falls. Christmas lights, Bill's lights. That's a nice house, though. It is. It's cute. That NT has a lot of cute small houses. That's what I like about them. And it's not overbearing either. House, house size wise. Right. Which is also nice. Suggestion. Uh, no, I asked a question about a uh, lady who does her ride alongs in her part of the world, and she said it, it's a uh, GoPro. And I looked up the price, and I'm like, holy crap, yeah, no. But thank you for the name and brand and all that. It was quite expensive. Yeah, but are you paying for the name, or is there more to it than that? Oh, well, I I believe anything you pay for, you're paying for the name. I mean, that's why I shop at Marshalls, I shop at Walmart, because they don't like the, don't particularly need the brand names, but they got brand names there. Lots of food, I will buy a particular brand name. Yeah, that gets a little... Stuff. Hmm? Yeah, that's when it starts to get a little little different there. Yeah, or cleaning products. I've had recently, actually, I had a off-brand toilet bowl cleaner. And it was all water. Hmm. Yeah. So, we're all back to using Clorox at the house. Which is the official toilet bowl cleaner all of my life. Yeah, we got the off-brand at a Dollar Tree. So, but hashtag bad toilets in the, in the comments down there. Now, town of Wheatfield had a very nice garden, and they took it out. Why, I don't know. But then they put benches there for no reason. And I have never seen anybody sit there. It's an odd place to sit. Thank you. Loud. But it's great traffic watching. Yeah.
lady I was watching who had the GoPro, she told me that they're in the app, you can put everything like your speedometer and time and weather from the app on your video. I'm like, nice. And then I looked up the prices and I'm like, not that nice. Yeah. Reminder to all the United States viewers, voting is open this Tuesday, November 4th, and I'll most likely remind you from now until then to go vote if you would like to. If not, that's your right to. Bad video, actually. It's good stuff. It's clearer, clearer than what I thought it would be. Yeah. And then I go home and I do my magic tour, and it's like, oh, what the hell happened? So. They're really digging into that road on the other side. Ended up being a nice deal for this shirt, though. Fifteen percent on the actual price. It's pretty good. So all you bought so far was for your parents? Uh, my my daughter mainly. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the rest of it's just kind of still in the planning stage. Mm. You like gift cards? I guess. Okay. That's what I'm getting the nieces and nephews. Yeah. Amazon cards. I don't know what these kids like anymore, but they're also they're too old for toys. Ah. But not old enough for, like, I don't know, like adult stuff. I don't want to get them closed because that's, you know. Bad. One thing people. That's no fun. Uh, for their age, anyway. Yeah. Come on, go around me. Thank you. Skirts of Wheatfield at night, everybody. Just getting ready to pass into Niagara Falls. Yeah, there's a couple more yards. Like our odds of a white Christmas this year. It's too warm. Well, uh, <clears throat> we uh, we were owed that. I think from last year. Oh, I agree. However, I still want a white Christmas. Yeah. It's not Christmas in the Northern Hemisphere for this point. That's. I look forward to on days like that. <laughs> First time in my life I ever woke up on Christmas Day to a freaking whiteout. 
Wow, is that interesting. Were you stuck at your parents or were you stuck at home? I was stuck at home. Oh, that's good. over and didn't even realize it. I guess it'd be better than passing out. is saying 534 fan, which I am assuming is related to the Bills that is on the license plate, which you cannot see. I guess it's the Bills 534th fan. Let me know in the comments what you think. I did this one thing with another license plate. Um, on a different ride along. It's like, let me know what this means to you, and, um, got some really good comments, but, um, I came up with my thing, and, you know, as I'm telling you the story, I can't remember what it said, but, <laughs> that was really cool, part of the, part of the Coming up on the right to the red awning is Viola's, a great sub shop here in Western New York, and particularly Niagara Falls. Have you been to Viola's, uh, friend? I have not. I shall take you there the, the, sometime this week. All right. Just remind me. Yeah, I take everybody there. It's kind of cool. I usually get a, a steak and cheese or a double steak and cheese. Actually, something pop into my head. What if I did like a double steak and cheese and bacon? That sounds pretty good. Now I'm hungry again. How about?
seven thirty. I bet it would be. Oh, Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Burlington then? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they got there. I guess you're supposed to save a ton at Burlington. I don't know. Sure looks like it's still open. Hmm. Interesting. That's right next door. Oh yeah, and Oogie Games is crap. I've only gone there when I'm looking for something old and specific, but I know it's sad when I'd rather have a GameStop over anything else. I remember when Oogie was just a booth at the Super Fleet. Yes. That's what I remember, man. Is then he opened the storefronts, and it's like, well, I thought he was a little overpriced, but yeah. If you're looking for something specific. Yeah, they had it. That's for sure. Also, I think they fixed my Xbox 360 once. That's good. But they did a good job. Like, that was that was a fair repair. But, like, buying stuff from them is just, like, ugh. I, um, took my PlayStation there for once. And could not fix it. I took it there twice. Could not fix it. Both times were for the graphics card in the system. It's like, we're sorry, we can't do anything with it. And I'm like, okay. Thanks. And then for some weird reason, the dude never kept his time. It was all odd hours of the time and day. And one time he had the excuse of, there's no heat in my building, I'm like, not my problem. Yeah. You're running a business. Put a coat on. Or shoes. He was a dude that wore flip flops all year, and I'm like, whatever, but it's winter <laughs> in West New York. <laughs> Got the arrow. Oh, thank you.
Um, that's cute. Halloween helps, I'm the hmm. right. Do you sure like Halloween? I certainly don't. Expecting a big super snowstorm blizzard, it would be nice to just have like a couple inches of snow. Yeah, a purposes. little bit. Just yeah. anything after that. Not necessary, correct? Correct. Yeah. It's pretty much what you hear around West New York is like, yeah, snow for Christmas. That's it. After that, put, put the heater back on, put it back up to 60. We'll be happy. Definitely don't remember those lights on Jim Martin's. The ones above on the Around the Yeah, where that white spot is. Yeah. Huh. And they're also missing a piece of it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was just burned out. Okay.
they're watching the game together. But I don't know, maybe bingo. Or both. That's true, that's true. Future house is on the left. I really love this house. This one. It's oh. tiny. <laughs> and absolutely adorable. Probably doesn't cost much to heat. No, nope, that's part of the other reason too. Yeah. Hey, it's not even Thanksgiving. Damn. A couple years ago, we took the kids trick-or-treating, my sister and I. Oh jeez, you're going to tell me something, something's going to be stupid, but go ahead. And one of the houses was decked out in Christmas lights already, and I laughed because I'm like, that's just kind of funny because I know that guy probably did it purposely just to, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think the story she told me was, oh yeah, they're on vacation this week, and I guess he must have mm -hmm. lit their house up just to, I don't know. I thought it was funny. I mean, like a troll move for the yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, that and, um... They may have not liked Halloween either. Yeah. I know, I'd probably do the same. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take much to decorate the house either. They're actually behind my parents' house. And actually, straight ahead is uh, where my aunts live. I think it's there. I think it's this one. One of the Colbus sacks around here. I know it's walking distance from my parents' house. Christmas, or this is supposed to be Halloween out there. Yeah, in the summer, it's very nice to go walk or springtime and just walk the neighborhood because it's, it's super quiet. Also, they have really good garage sales, and that's one thing I love to do is garage selling. Shoot, I made the wrong turn.
today is about to do another nighttime uh, ride along to see the decorations. It, so a lot of these houses go low, go all out, and I can't wait to show them off to you and everybody that watches the series. Interestingly enough, one of the houses actually has the same number as my parents' house. That's cool. The whole thing. Oh, nice. I love it. Yeah, another reason why to get uh, left and right uh, cameras. I can show off oh, one, yeah. one of these great decorations. I'll have to get it soon because um, decorating will be starting in a little bit. That one house that I was ooing and eyeing over it was one gigantic big string light with really interesting light bulbs that were quite big and it went through the rainbow which was very cute. Appreciate anything rainbow. But find out how the complex. You can tell I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> it is bigger than it is. It, if you look at it on a map. Oop, turn down the brakes. Oh, and that's the other thing about night driving. My perspective is off perception. Distance wise. Now's the time, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's just a little after eight. Let's save on this. I'm just going through our. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I just now realized I took the whole ride along to just now say that as I'm backing in for the evening. Hello. Oh